Hi, my name is Jagdish Bora and I am a faculty member in the departments of social work and management at Assam Downtown University, Guwahati. My specialization is human resource management and I am glad to be here today to take you through the subject of HRM. Today's topic is human resource planning. Now before we start on this topic, let us recapitulate what we learned in the previous lessons, that is, what is human resource? So human resource may be thought of as the total knowledge, skills, creative abilities, talents and aptitudes of an organization's workforce as well as the values, attitudes and benefits of an individual involved. So it is the sum total of inherent abilities acquired knowledge and skills represented by the talents and aptitudes of the employed persons. Of all the M's in management, that is management of material, machines, method, money, motive power, the most important is M for men or human resources. It is the most valuable asset of an organization and not the money or physical equipment. An organization's performance and resulting productivity are directly proportional to the quantity and quality of its human resources. Hence the importance of human resources and therefore Planning for human resources is extremely important, as we shall see. Now, human resource planning is a continuous process of systematic planning ahead to achieve optimum use of an organization's most valuable asset quality employees. Effective HRP ensures the best fit between employees and jobs while avoiding manpower shortages or surpluses. <clears throat> Before we go on to the next portion, let me give you a small anecdote. Now there was a company, a family owned business, let us call it Axis Company and they needed, there was a vacant position of the HR manager, they needed an HR manager. So instead of recruiting a professionally trained HR manager, to cut costs, they thought they will use the marketing manager to become the HR manager. So this person who has taken over as the HR manager, let us call him Ashish. He saw that the company was growing very fast and there was requirement for manpower. So immediately he started recruiting about 30 people, selected them and they joined the organization and he was very happy that he had done a very good job. But six months later, the company's position fell 
in terms of profitability and other objectives, it fell because the contract which they had and which had led to the high growth, that contract was not renewed by the other party. And therefore, Ashish was left with 30 surplus people who ultimately, some of them had to be laid off. Now, why did this happen? It happened because Ashish did not have detailed conversation with the other departments. He did not consult the other departmental heads to see where the company was going. He did not look into the company's future strategic plans. And he did the planning. If you can call it a plan, he recruited the he recruited the employees basically without a plan. So it teaches us two things. First of all, that you have a to have a plan for everything. There's a saying that if you fail to plan, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Which means that without a proper plan, you cannot go forward to achieve your objectives. The second lesson we learn from this anecdote is that HR is not a subject which can be done by anyone from any other department. You have to have professionals who can carry out this function. So what is human resource planning? It is the process by which a management determines how an organization should move from its current manpower position to its desired manpower position. It is the process of forecasting a company's future demand for and supply of the right type of people in the right number. So, in this process, the HR manager has to forecast what will be the demand for manpower and also where that supply will come from. And it is not any type of manpower. It is the right type of people in the right number. If there's a vacancy of 15 people, I re recruit 15, but they don't turn out to be right type of people, I fail in my planning process. Coleman has defined HRP as the process of determining manpower requirements and the means for meeting those requirements in order to carry out the integrated plan of the organization. So you have to determine the requirements, how to meet those requirements so that the total objective of the organization is met. The integrated plan, the total plan or total objective of the organization has to be kept in mind when we do human resource planning. So HRP consists in projecting future manpower requirements and development of manpower plans for implementation of the projections. We project what are the requirements and then we make a plan and implement the plan. 
So human resource planning is the first step in the HRM process. And all other HR activities such as employee hiring, training and development, remuneration, performance appraisal, all are derived from HRP. Because if you do not start with planning, how do you hire? How many people do you hire? Whom do you train? What remuneration do you give? And whom? what type of appraisal do you carry out? So this, the, all these have to start only after the human resource planning starts. So the plan is the first thing that has to be put in place. As I said earlier, getting the right number of people, of qualified people, into the right job, that is the crux of the problem. In actual practice, it is not easy. Without careful planning or advanced thinking and prompt actions, it is extremely difficult to get competent and talented people into the organization. Planning also has to be aligned with the strategic goals of the organization. Every organization has goals for the future. How do we move forward in say three years or five years or ten years? Those are the goals and those are the strategic goals. And the organization moves forward keeping those strategic goals in mind. So human resource planning has to understand and remember these goals of the organization. Otherwise, they will not be aligned with the organization goals and planning will go wrong. The objective of HRP has to be to maintain and improve the organization's ability to achieve its goal by developing strategies that will result in optimum contribution from human resources. So we have to do the planning in such a way that we do this process and we get the maximum from the human resources. We get the maximum contribution and productivity and output from the human resources. The importance of HRP. Assessing future personal needs. If there is surplus labor or labor shortage in an organization, it gives an indication of defective planning or absence of planning. A number of government public sector undertakings are facing the problem of surplus labor as a result of lack of planning. Now at one point of time, public sector undertakings were meant to give employment to people. The government ministries would recommend their own candidates and they would recommend that recruitment should be done from the locality. The MPs or MLAs will pressurize the PSUs to employ from the local areas so that the MP or MLA or any other official gets credit in his area. And the public sector undertakings used to go on recruiting. And as a result of which, there was a huge surplus of labor in almost all the government PSUs because there was no lack, there was no planning, there was no proper human resource planning. Number two, employee turnover. A large number of employees leave an organization every year on account of resignations, retirement, termination, 
and there is a constant need to replace such personnel now we have to understand that employee turnover affects an organization in many many ways let us take an example a big information technology company with thousands and thousands of employees they take lot of pains to hire people and train people let us take the example of infosys where they send the trainees to a place which is like a five star hotel and they give them training for maybe 45 days or one month bring them again train them so the cost of training first of all the cost of recruitment because recruitment is very expensive you have to advertise the post you have to call people for interview you have to pay them for that you have to have your own people doing all the work in recruitment and selection and after people join after they are given training they leave for another organization and that hurts the company so employee turnover on account of resignations is a big issue and the company or the organization has to keep this in mind predict how many people will leave in the next one year or two years or three years and plan accordingly the third importance of hrp is expansion and diversification programs every organization to move forward has to plan for the future has to plan for future growth through expansion and diversification and modernization in order to meet the needs of such plans employees at various levels may be needed so the hr manager he has to constantly be in touch with those who are involved in strategic plans for the organization discuss with them what will be the future plans for the organization will there be any expansion will they open more marketing offices or sales offices will they set up new manufacturing facilities in other places and so on and so forth and therefore from that he will gather how many people may be required for the future number 4 technological changes when the management has to bring in technological changes to compete in a competitive and global scenario technically savvy and skilled personnel need to be recruited the company decides to modernize its equipment and machinery but they do not plan to recruit the people who will run these machines or equipment and then they fail so the hr manager has to keep in mind that if there are to be technical technological changes in the company he has to know about it and he has to be plan to recruit people who will run the equipment or machines number 5 surplus manpower as i said earlier now hrp is not only about recruiting people it is also about redeployment or reduction of people because if there are surplus people in an organization it leads to a huge cost without any benefit and the company will lose money it will bleed if there is a huge surplus manpower so the hr managers need to identify such personnel and plan on redeployment if there is a surplus in one department but a shortage in another department he may plan to 
sent some of the surplus people to the department where there is a shortage. Or they have to think of reduction in terms of layoffs or whatever. So, human resource planning is a double-edged weapon. If used properly, it leads to maximum utilization of human resources with resultant productivity. But faulty planning leads to disruption on work, lower production, and constant headaches for the management. If because of faulty planning, wrong type of people are recruited, they will not be able to achieve the organization goals and the management of the organization will suffer. So, in conclusion, planning is an integral part of management function and HRP is part of that process. Strategic HR planning is crucial to the success of an organization. As we come to the end of today's lesson, I would request all of you to study the top topic in further detail and expand the material in writing. I look forward to seeing you in the next session.